How's everyone doing? I thought I'd bring you a podcast from the garden here and it's a wonderful piece of nature. You know, it's good to kind of speak out in the beautiful nature. So here we are. Now, what I want to talk about today in today's podcast, I wanted to talk about your perception. So your perception of yourself is the life you're living. So how you perceive yourself is actually what's manifested in your life. And what I mean by that, I just basically mean that it's not just a case of, okay, your how you think about your image, you know, the image you have, you know, say you say to yourself, okay, I'm confident, you know, I'm brilliant at doing this, and then you manifest that. Although that that plays a part in the whole process of manifestation, but that's separate from what I'm trying to actually explain now. I'm saying that how you feel, how you think is a combination of what makes up who you are and also the addition of you know the parents and what they implant in your mind in terms of giving you your self-esteem because your parents actually build your self-esteem when they start to encourage you to overcome obstacles when they give you good praise and also when they give you negative comments sometimes you know or sometimes be abusive this also has a big part to play in building your self-esteem so all of that builds into the conditioning of your mind and build your character and so these are the obstacles that some people face in life in adulthood when they reach a certain point they realize they have to take on healing to overcome some of the conditioning and the abuse the mental trauma through their parents and teachers or people around them maybe bullies that have been putting them down in order to discover who they are so there's these obstacles you know there are a lot of obstacles to actually discovering who you are and these are coming in the form of you know sabotaging thoughts which essentially are repetitions of programmed abuse from bullies parents and sometimes negative teachers and when you can remove all of that conditioning then you're able to discover the true self because you can't really identify with those aspects of yourself so don't ever say to yourself oh I'm I'm rubbish I can't do this whenever you hear those thoughts they're not actually your own thoughts they're normally thoughts from someone else someone else is actually implanting those thoughts in your mind and you've taken it on and it's a it's a it's on loop you're not actually saying it to yourself in most cases it's actually a record on loop yeah because it's been drummed in and this record on loop then has an impact and is impacting your mind has been implanted into the subconscious mind and therefore plays out into the conscious world into your reality and so the key is to try and somehow reprogram the conditioning reprogram your mind reprogram the subconscious mind or plant messages into your mind to help neutralize those thoughts Um, but it's not as easy as just saying to yourself you know okay I'm a confident person you know someone had low self-esteem it won't just be a case of saying I'm a confident person and suddenly you will manifest that confidence it's it's somehow there has to be a shift inside you energetically you know some sort of shift that takes place where that's you inside are able to listen to yourself and realign yourself with who you are I know that might sound a bit weird and a bit fake but it's it's not it's the only the only way you can really tap into this is by removing the noise and trying to get inside yourself and by doing that you then are able to express a confident self so nobody really and truly is not confident or not able it's the fact that they've been told 
that they're not able and by shutting out the noise you then are able to access that powerful self so that's all it is that's that's basically but as i said it's easy for me to say that because i'm just saying it but in practice it's hard because that noise has actually imprinted onto the subconscious mind and it plays out and it's been playing out so it's it's a method a practice has to come in to break the thoughts to break the broken record that keeps repeating in your mind and until that chatter is removed then the inner self can actually come forth and like Alan Watts says you know the famous English philosopher just regard thoughts as clouds observe the thoughts but don't take them too seriously so don't take on those thoughts as your perception of yourself because if you do then it is going to impact your reality and although that it is impacting your reality the best way to overcome it is to try and do some form of healing you know and that would be in a form of you know spending more time in nature spending more time with yourself reading books as well yes yeah, so as I was saying just then I was interrupted sorry about that. I received a phone call and I'm recording this podcast from my phone and it just interrupted this whole podcast um, so I was talking about the the dark spots in the auric field which can actually be removed by ayahuasca the sacred plant medicine from the Amazonian rainforest facilitated by shamans that's one form of healing another form of healing could be um, psilocybin in the form of mushrooms I've never taken that before um, so I wouldn't know how that actually affects you from experience but I've read reports that some people have recovered from depression completely after taking mushrooms uh, magic mushrooms also known they're also known as magic mushrooms um, some people have recovered completely from major depression and some have reported signs of um, gradual recovery or at least recovery to the point where they no longer are affected in the same way they were affected you know previously from depression so and also you know you can do psychotherapy you know cognitive behavioral therapy to kind of address additional um, behavior and traits that are your, that you're that you're manifesting just to kind of try to understand mentally what you're going through and why you are acting out in the way that you're acting out you know but at the end of the day it's down to the individual to actually find a way of healing themselves you know I could tell you whatever I want but at the end of the day it's you who actually needs to understand how you're going to tread this path and find a way of you know recovering if you feel you need to recover and if you want to remove some of the the darkness from within you know because even if we look in the um, and I'm not a religious person I'm not a Christian but I just remember one of the things that um, Jesus was talking about you know how man lives in darkness and when you think about that you know in some ways it's true because there are there is darkness inside you that needs to be addressed you know and if it's not healed or cleansed we have these problems that manifest in our own life because we do live in a dark world as we can see you know the wars that are going on in the world they're completely unnecessary but they've been going on for years I mean I'm 34 years old and I don't think I've ever actually lived a year where the news is not talking about a well a war sorry that's not take that's taking place I've never actually experienced a moment a year in my life of hearing that there's no wars in the world so th that's obviously a problem you know so there's many things that are in the world that are really dark and it's not just a case of bad people there's there's something else behind that there's some sort of energy dark force pushing and driving people to actually act out in certain ways and so and I think this also plays a part in the um, self 
sabotaging thoughts that I was talking about you know even if somebody has a confident self and if somebody's really confident they still may be vulnerable to attack from thoughts that are trying to undermine who they are but coming from outside they may be more resilient but they may still be susceptible and vulnerable to certain um, attacks you know um, yeah and I just think that you know it's really difficult on this whole idea of trying to focus on the you know perception of yourself like I said it's not just a case of changing your thoughts through consciously saying okay I want to change that's the, that's the start you know having that positive mindset of okay I want to change these thoughts I want to change you know my idea of myself but how can I actually bring about an action plan of cleansing of healing you know it has to be more than talk is what I'm trying to say um, yeah that's that's basically you know what I wanted to really explore and I think the journey of healing the journey of healing is a uh, very cleansing and therapeutic pathway once you actually start the healing process I myself have done a lot of healing over the years and I can see the cycles of cleansing and the transformation that takes place it's phenomenal when you really commit you know to the journey so yeah don't don't actually give up and keep going on trying to heal you know the pain and keep trying to discover more aspects you know of yourself in order to express new levels of who you are so you've been listening to Anthony Brown this is a deep and meaningful conversation please subscribe to the podcast if you haven't subscribed and you know share this podcast to anyone who you think that you know may resonate and may benefit from this information and you know in general this whole podcast is about spirituality I mean that's a term that we use but it's just about expressing you know who you are um, and trying to get other people to express who they are and have a platform to really um, delve into topics